Good morning, gorgeous. How are you young ladies doing this morning? I hope you're all doing wonderful. I'm Dr. Daff, and we're talking today about femininity for teenagers. So you might be watching this, and maybe you're a teenager, or maybe you're the parent of a teenager. We're going to talk about how you can learn how to incorporate femininity into your life from a very young age so that when you're older, it'll be easier to feel like a beautiful feminine woman. Remember that your femininity as a teenager is going to come more from the way that you behave rather than the way that you look. But the way that you look is also important. And I've worked with teenagers for over 10 years. So I have the most experience working with teens and talking to teens. So I know what you're going through in the schools. I know what you're going through outside of school how society is and how difficult it can be. So I want to help encourage you to love being a girl, love being a young lady and learn how to treat yourself the way a young lady should. And starting these habits is truly going to set the stage to becoming a truly feminine woman that you can be proud of one day and you can be desirable as an adult in the world. Okay, you were born a girl, you were born a young woman, and that's God's design for you. It's inside of you. So even if you don't feel feminine or you feel like you're just so far away from it because maybe you sound a certain way or you look a certain way, just know that internally you are a beautiful feminine woman by God's design. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's talk about this. This is going to be a two-part series, so we're going to talk about some things today, and then we'll come back and talk about some other things, more of your behaviors. I will focus today on your outer appearance and the way that you look, because I know that's what you want to hear about. So we'll start with talking about makeup. As a teenager, you may not be allowed to wear makeup. And that's okay. You don't need to wear makeup to be feminine. Really, you should have some grooming that looks very neat and put together. And makeup does help to enhance your beauty. But when you're young, that's not necessary. It's actually more important to focus on your skin, taking good care of your skin as a teenager. And I know that that might be really challenging because as a teenager, you're going through puberty and you may have breakouts and pimples and lots of shiny skin that you just feel like you cannot control. And I know that's really tough, but I do want you to pay attention to that as much as you can, not to beat yourself up or to feel ugly, but to just know that it's something to pay attention to if you're neglecting it. Like if you're not washing your face and if you're not putting on things like SPF and, you know, some gentle lotions and things of that nature. And you don't have to have a 12-step skincare routine like an adult has. Okay, if you're looking on YouTube and there's videos of women putting on acids and oils and things like that, you don't need any of that stuff. You're very young. Your skin is young. You can look for brands like Neutrogena or drugstore brands. You can look for The Ordinary. They have very affordable products. I know Glow Recipe has some really affordable products. You don't want to overdo it with your skin at your age. You're very young. You want to treat your skin very delicately. But taking time to wash your face at least twice a day in the morning and at night and putting on some lotions and some SPF, it's going to help your skin to look good and to glow. One other thing I want to add about skin, my dear, is going to be what you eat. And I know when you're a teenager, you're so young and you want to just eat chips and hot Cheetos and anything. But what you eat will affect your skin. If not now, down the road. So you want to build good habits and you want to try your best to eat lots of fruits and vegetables and things that are going to make your skin glow from the inside out. And in terms of your makeup though, if you are allowed to do your makeup, learning how to do your makeup on your own is so important, honey. I know a lot of women who are in their 30s and 40s and they don't know how to do their makeup. Doing your own makeup is just as important as learning how to make yourself a meal. You need to have the confidence to be able to get up one day if you have an interview or if you have a special date and know that you're confident enough to do your makeup. 
But as a teenager, you can start off with using something like a tinted moisturizer. So that's basically a moisturizer, like a lotion, that's mixed with the foundation. It's going to give you a little bit of coverage, but it's not going to be actual foundation. So wearing some tinted moisturizer, some lip gloss, maybe a little bit of mascara on your eyelashes. It doesn't even have to be colored. It can be clear mascara. Keeping your eyebrows done, like plucking your eyebrows or shaving your eyebrows. If you're allowed to, okay, these are going to just help you to look more put together and just a little bit more clean. You don't want to overdo it with makeup. You don't want to look older than you are. It's not appealing for you to look older than you are. Okay, you are going to get to that point one day and you don't have to speed that up. Enjoy every single moment of your life. And right now, you're youthful, you're young, and you don't need to look like you're 40. So don't pack on makeup like you see girls doing on YouTube. It's not necessary, honestly, for anyone to do it, but especially not as a teenager. And if you're looking for a good brand that has affordable makeup that is really nice and natural and beautiful on teenagers, I would recommend Glossier. They're a brand that sells very like skin-like foolproof makeup for people who don't wear a lot of makeup. You don't even need to have makeup brushes. And in addition to just keeping your skin looking clean and just having overall good hygiene, it's important for you to drink lots of water. You need water in order just to look more alive. <laughs> you need water, right? But you want to drink lots of water and try to avoid eating a lot of sugar because that's what's going to cause you to have a lot of breakouts and cause your skin to look really dull and older than you look. And just try to focus on your overall hygiene and looking neat. So in order to be more feminine as a teenager, try focusing on your clothes in terms of ironing your clothes if you can and making sure that your clothes look clean taking showers at least once a day if you can. If you play sports at school or you play sports after school, then try taking a shower after you play your sports too, not just in the morning, but also in the evening, just to make sure that you're clean and that you smell good. You can also indulge your senses. That's one of the most beautiful parts of femininity. It's not just about looking like a pretty little Barbie doll, but it's about enjoying all the little things about life. So when you're taking your shower after you're done, using lotion and maybe smelling the lotion, taking it slow, taking some time to smell your lotion and rub it on your skin and just enjoy this time that you have to yourself. You know, a lot of times you may not have privacy at home, but when you're in the bathroom, that's time for yourself. And that's a beautiful part of being feminine is caring about this time that you have. And if you're looking for brands that have affordable lotions that, you know, you can ask your parents to buy, or if you have an allowance, you can get is Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret. Their lotions smell really nice and they're at an affordable price. And for those of you who don't want like a lot of scents, sometimes scent and lotions can also be irritating or can be a little bit drying on the skin. You can always use oils like coconut oil. You can use cocoa butter. You can make your own mixtures. There are a lot of people who make things like this where you can buy something at an affordable price that's almost all natural and will actually keep you super hydrated. So I will leave some recommendations in the information box below and you can visit some websites that may have some things that you will like. I know one brand is called Luceric Beauty and their shea butters are really just soothing and so lush on the skin and they smell really good. Now, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Ladies, it's so important that you spend time becoming the person that you want to be and you get assistance doing that. Therapy is a wonderful tool for being able to unpack your past or to help you with your future goals. As a psychologist, I believe everyone should have therapy at some point in their life to better themselves. And BetterHelp can help. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that has therapists that you can talk to over the phone or in a live session. The great thing is you don't have to show your face. You can turn your camera off. It's affordable and you can get matched with a therapist in 48 hours. As a listener, you can receive 10% off of your service by using the code FEMININE. So visit BetterHelp today at B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com 
slash feminine. You can also keep things like lip gloss and lotions and body sprays and deodorant in your backpack. Or if you have like a book bag, you can keep it in at school. And if you can, you can do like a really cute book bag instead of looking like way down and boxy. Just remember, if you are bringing things like body sprays and deodorants and lotions, you're not spraying it in the classroom, okay? You don't need to spray it to where everyone has to smell it. You want to make sure you're just doing it very lightly. You're not overdoing it, and you're just focusing on being clean. Also, take time to do things like wash your hair. And it's so important, ladies, to learn how to do your own hair. Okay, we talked about makeup, but especially in the African American community, we are raised not to learn how to do our hair. You can do whatever you want. You can wear braids, you can wear wigs, you can wear ponytails, you can do whatever you want. But it's all about learning and knowing that you have an option that you can do your own hair. You don't have to pay someone else to do your hair. That's really what it comes down to. Especially when you go to college and things like that, you may not have the money at the time to get your hair done all the time. So you want to do things like go on YouTube or ask your moms or your aunts or cousins to teach you how to do your hair. If You have parents who won't let you buy products, say shampoo or body wash or deodorant. Maybe you come from a home where you just don't have the money. You don't have the resources and you want to be clean. You want to be able to have these products, but you don't have the money. Don't be embarrassed, okay? Make sure that you tell someone at school. You can talk to a trusted teacher or your counselor or an administrator at school because every single school has money dedicated to helping anyone get these things that they need. Because your self-image and your self-esteem will be so much worse if you're at school and you're constantly like smelling or scratching your head or your body. You can have these products given to you for free if you just tell someone at school. And then when you go to college, you can also get your own health insurance through your college. So if you grew up in a home where you weren't really getting the proper care that you needed in terms of your hygiene and your checkups and teeth cleanings and just things that help you to know that your body is like in good shape, you can get that in college. You can pay for that or get financial aid so that you can feel confident. Because when you are young and you're embracing your femininity, you're embracing your womanhood. You're not one of the boys. You're not someone who just doesn't care how she looks. You actually take the time to think about the way that you present yourself to the world. You care about being a beautiful, clean woman or girl. (laughs) So make sure that you're paying attention to your hygiene. And if you like the video so far, then make sure to share it. Anyone that you know who is a teenager or if you have friends who have teenagers, make sure to share this video. It really helps me a lot. The next thing we're going to talk about is your clothing as a teenager. When you hear about femininity, especially here on YouTube, a lot of times the only clothing that's talked about are things like dresses. And yes, dresses are very feminine, but they're not the only way to look feminine. You can make anything look feminine according to your own style and in your own way. If you're a teenager, you're at school most of the day. So it might be hard for you to wear dresses and skirts. Sure, if you're like in some preppy school like Clueless and you can wear all these different fashion you know, statement dresses and skirts, then go for it. But most people can't dress like that at school. So it's just honestly not feasible at school. But what you can do is when you are able to go shopping or if your parents take you back to school shopping or if you get a little money for your birthday or for Christmas and you want to buy something, choose colors that are more fun and more bright. A lot of times we tend to kind of gravitate towards dark colors, but you can add more femininity by choosing colors that are just like a little bit more happy. So think like white and yellow and pink and green. And with any color, regardless of what color you like, there's always different shades to them. So according to the way your skin looks and what you just like, you can wear the shade of the color that you like the most. So try to stay away from things that are just a little bit dark and are just weighing down on you and go lighter and brighter and more airy. 
You can also buy clothes that are a little bit more frilly, things that have like peplum styles or things that have lace. You can add little things like belts or hats. You can wear jackets or accessories that are a little bit more feminine. Maybe they'll have pearls on it or maybe they will have certain like rhinestones on it. Those things are super feminine and you can do this to any hairstyle. So if your hair is in braids, you can put your braids up in a bun or half in a bun, half down, and then you can add little trinkets to your braids, little hair jewelry, just to make yourself sort of stand out and shine a little bit. These small details make a very big difference in the way that you look. And when it comes to your shoes at school, again, you are not going to be able to wear high heels and things that are just more fancy, okay? You can save that for when you're a little bit older, but you can wear shoes that are flat. You can wear ballet flats. You can wear shoes that have like a pointy top and maybe it has like a little bow at the top. You can wear shoes that are a little bit more platformed. They can be tennis shoes, but they can be a little bit more like lifted, And you can focus on things that just don't look like a boy would be wearing it. So it could be some Nikes or Adidas, but they're in a feminine color. They're in pink or purple or orange or something and not in like the standard dark blue or gray. And you can focus more on dressing feminine when you go out on the weekends. So if you go to a movie with your friends or if you go to church, that's when you can put on your dress or your skirt or whatever jewelry that you have. That's when you can focus on that. It's nice to have on earrings and necklaces and jewelry, but if you bring it to school, you risk it getting lost or, you know, maybe falling off or something. And you don't want that to happen. It's not necessary for you to look like that at school. It's also nice for you to take good care of your nails. So you can paint your nails at home. You can manicure your nails. You can spend time putting on lotion and oils on your hands and just making sure that your nails are clean so that there's not dirt inside of them. You don't have to go get your nails done. You don't need to get acrylics. It's not necessary for you to do. It's just important for you to pay attention to it. As a teenager, it's so important for you to build yourself up in so many ways. And in part two, we're going to talk more about how to become more feminine on the inside. But in terms of your outer appearance, it's not about how much money you have. It's not about what you have in your closet. It's about looking put together and clean. So taking more time to go through your closet and figure out what do you like to wear? What looks great on you? What do you feel the most confident in? When I was a teenager, it took me dressing up in a Halloween costume as like a Spanish dancer. I had a red dress on and some lacy things. And I thought, wow, this is me. Like this, I don't own anything like this, but this is me. This is how I feel really good and confident. And that's how I learned what I felt the most comfortable in. Now, I can't wear this long Spanish looking dress to school, but I knew that when I was going to go out somewhere nice, I would like to to wear something red or something with some lace, or I would like to have my hair in a bun or carry around a lace fan. And that really just helped me to feel confident to know that I had a style. And you can go through your closet and you can pick the things that you really like and wear more of that and take pictures of yourself in it. So when you go shopping, you're not looking at, okay, what is everyone else wearing or what looks good on the mannequin? You can look at your own photos and say, this is the kind of stuff I like. So can I find something similar to this so that I know I'm going to love myself in it? And I don't want you to spend a lot of time judging the way that you look on the outside, like in terms of your weight and things of that nature. That's not important for you to look at in terms of femininity. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. It doesn't matter what your nose looks like. It doesn't matter if you have crooked teeth. What matters is that you feel good about yourself. You know that you're here for a reason, that you're important, that you're special, that you're loved, that you're God's child, and that you have a beautiful life ahead of you. And this is just a preparation. Spend some more time showing up like the person that you want to be. And that's someone who takes time and cares about the way that they are perceived by the world. And you truly are helping yourself for the long run when you do this. 
I hope that this video was helpful and giving you some tips on how you can start looking more feminine as a teenager. I will be back for part two, so please join me and we're going to talk more about some of the internal things to help change who you are on the inside to be more feminine. And if you love fragrance, then you can visit my fragrance line, Fine Forever. We have two brand new fragrances that will be beautiful on anyone of any age. The packaging is stunning and it'll look great in your room as decoration. And Mustard Seed is really bright and sunny and feminine. And Silent Storm is really warm and just like glamorous and beautiful. So whatever you're into, I think this would be perfect. If you have a mom or a sister or aunt who's also into fragrance, you can get the deluxe set and you can share. You can visit findforever.com and you can take a look around and hopefully you'll find a fragrance that sounds like you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Bye.